Hello everyone, it is Toby here. Thank you for being patient with me whilst we are on this huge, huge move. But as you can see, I am in the new place and I will be giving you a grand tour of the updated bedroom gym. Sorry again, it's been so late. The move's been very stressful, I'm very busy. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if video uh, regularity lowers to this sort of level, often because I'm now in my eight week prep uh, for my competition, so I'm taking it very seriously, and I don't really want to jeopardize many training sessions with uh, recording and just put my head down and just go for it. So I will be doing videos here and there, but don't be surprised if they're pretty sparse as opposed to the usual twice a week I was doing. Uh, expect them all once a week, once every two weeks sort of area, but they are still coming. Don't you worry. But yeah, without further ado, welcome to the bedroom gym. <laughs> So I know what you're thinking. This bedroom gym, is it smaller than the last bedroom gym? Where's all my equipment? What not? We'll go through every single thing and why this bedroom gym is far superior to the last one. But yeah, without further ado, I'll turn the camera around and we'll start going through it. So first things first, I'll start by being over here. As you can see, my bed is now a double bed. It's absolutely huge, uh, which isn't ideal. It takes up a lot of space, but it is what it is. It's not too bad, but it also does mean I can store most of my gym equipment under the bed, which I couldn't do in the last gym, which means a lot less space is taken up by equipment and a lot more space can be used to actually work out in. Also, we have the living room literally just the other side of this wall, so I don't have to work out in this space if I want a bigger space if no one's using the living room. It's absolutely ideal, but first things first, we'll go over here to the squat rack and we got the flags from the garage gym back home now up on the wall, because as you can see, this room has incredibly high ceilings. They must be eight, nine foot ceilings, something like that. So perfect for pressing as I'm six one. So I need a high ceiling to be able to press, but let's start over here. So this here is my program for the next eight weeks. I will not be showing you it because I've come up with it and I might charge for it one day, but no, it's, it's just very specific for my comp and there's a lot there to go through. But yeah, we have got the mirror fit bar on the squat racks as the last home gym had. We've actually got a mirror this time to see my depth on squats, which is brilliant. And we've got uh, plates everywhere on either side, the sandbag, the Atlas stone, uh, the mats to not damage the floor while deadlifting, sledgehammer. We've got all my lifting gear, cushion, more lifting gear up there, my chalk bowl, heat lamp, two belts, you know the drill. Uh, and then under the bed, we have a lot of stuff down here. So we got my farmer's walks, pull-up bar, the bench, we got the log just there poking out, you can see the end of it. Then around the other side, we also have the trap bar and the battle ropes. Uh, having that all stored under the bed is absolutely incredible because as I said in the last house, it all had to be out and up against a wall because my bed didn't have space underneath it for storage. Uh, so it just makes this room feel a lot more open as it's not super cluttered with gym equipment. Uh, we got the whiteboard with all my PRs on it and we can write inspirational messages. And uh, of course the uh, computer set up in the corner there for editing these videos. Ideally, uh, I wouldn't have this and be using a laptop because and it takes up quite a bit of space, but my laptop doesn't run the editing software. So we have to have this behemoth uh, in the corner, but it doesn't matter because if that wasn't there, I'd rotate the bed, have a lot more space to work out in. But to be honest, this space I'm stood in right now is more than enough for uh, what I need. I need to clean this mirror. Uh, as I said, I'm still in the process of sorting everything out from the move. Uh, so the mirror is very dirty that came with this. As you can see, incredibly high ceiling up there because this, yeah, this flag's huge and a uh, perfect amount of space for squatting and pressing. It's not too bad at all. I've actually done a couple sessions in here already and it's not bad whatsoever. But the best thing about being here on the ground floor for one is I don't have to worry about going through the floor uh, lugging my equipment up and downstairs. But I've also got a, a double back door in the in my room. So out here we have uh, some of my strongman equipment. So the tire, the keg, uh, we got some pallet and wood as well. But it means we got access to the huge garden that stretches all the way down there uh, for farmers walks, uh, loading medleys, sandbag and all that, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm really happy that I can have that accessed uh, from my room straight away. It basically I used to waste a lot of energy in the old in the old room running stuff up and down the stairs all the time and 
yeah, now I don't have to do that, and that's absolutely amazing. So if it's sunny weather, I want to work out outside just through the back doors, and if I want to stay in here, I can. Anyway, I'm going to flip round the camera and explain some more things about this gym. So there we go, that is the lightning fast uh, tour. The reason I didn't go into too much detail is because the equipment is pretty much the exact same as last time we did a bedroom gym tour, because I am running out of money because I'm a student, and it happens. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty much the exact same equipment, it's just in a different room. So the main thing I wanted to go over was having the back door, uh, the high ceilings. I mean, look, I'm reaching up. I don't even get anywhere close. Like, I can't even jump and touch it. And I'm 6'1", so high ceilings, absolutely incredible. The best part about this room. But yeah, that's that. A lot of sessions are going to be done in here. The whole comp prep is going to be done in here. And uh, speaking about the comp prep, I'm really looking forward to it. So I've been putting up some big numbers in the gym recently. Uh, I hit a 190 kilo squat the other day, a 232 kilo trap bar deadlift. Uh, and obviously for the a comp, I've got to do neither of those things. I've got to do farmer's walk, uh, deadlift for reps, dumbbell medley, loading medley, uh, and sandbag um, to platform. I've been doing the sandbag to a four foot platform uh, a couple sessions now. So I either do it over my bar or when I'm at home onto the uh, chest of drawers platforms I made. And I'm doing that with the 100 kilo sandbag. I'm going to do a run from uh, 70 kilo up to 110 in the competition. And the 100 is moving super fine. I have not failed a rep getting it over yet. So that is absolutely brilliant. If I can do that consistently with 100, then the run should be no problem. I also hit a 39 kilo single arm dumbbell. Obviously, uh, the dumbbell medley tops out at a uh, circus dumbbell of 55 kilo for reps, which... I'm still, I'm, I'm not confident I'm going to get that by the competition. It just seems like too much uh, weight to be able to put on that movement. So I'm aiming for a fast four on the double dumbbells uh, and hopefully pick up some points there. But farmer's walk's going well. Deadlift going really well. I did 190 for four the other week, which is nice. Uh, that was a new PR. So by the time I peak for this comp, 200 for five is my aim. So I want, because I've done 200 for two. So I either want 200 for five or at the very least 200 for three a few reps because uh, looking at my competition that i've seen uh, that should be able to get me some decent points but obviously i'm not going to hold out on that yeah i'll probably do a whole video sitting down going over the basic structure of my program if you guys want to see that make sure you comment down below uh but yeah i just want to say thank you so much for the support as well the last bedroom tour uh, bedroom gym tour video has hit in nearly 2,000 views already, which is absolutely nuts. Subscribers going up every day. We're now well into the 100s. We're on 111, I think, and I only had 100 like a week or two ago. So that's that's amazing to see that still going. But yeah, apologies for the lack of videos and maybe the rushed feel that this video has, but I'm very, very busy at the minute trying to prep for this comp and basically be the best I can be uh, for Strongman. And then once we are done with the comp, I can film some more fun videos, but I think from here on out, it's going to be mainly comp prep training sessions uh, and little sit down videos, small videos like this. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new bedroom uh, tour. You'll obviously see that a lot more going forward with uh, my training videos. And also if you follow me over on Instagram, daily training footage, as you know, and you get to see all my PRs and stuff like that in the comp prep, best place to keep up to date with what I'm doing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if it feels a little bit rushed. I'm pressed for time. I want to get this edited and uploaded ASAP for you guys. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.